and we're pleased to say that Melissa Maria is the Smart Campus Principal from Global International Indian School and joins us here around the desk. Thank you very much uh, for coming in to join us. Uh, I just ran through a little bit of what you're doing that I guess differs from traditional education, but how much is what you're doing becoming the norm when it comes to education now as we approach the year 2020? So I think at the GIS Smart Campus, what we've always done is follow technology, but very, be very careful and cautious as to what we implement. What we've done is we've reached out to universities to try and understand from them what is it that they are looking at for in students. And then using that information as well as technology to ensure that the learning outcomes are met. So the features that we have at the smart campus, be it you know, our digital boards or the devices that children use, the smart, uh, you know, the iPads, et cetera, all of this enables them to make learning personal. We are very sure that one fit is not something that we will go with. It has to be something personal. It has to be measured in such a way that it engages and interests every learner. So I think data analytics is something that we are very high on. Every student's performance is measured, strategies are drawn out for them, and then that's the way we feel we can engage them better. And what is the outcome, I guess, at the end of the day? What tangible evidence do you have that this model of education, of rating students, of being able to determine, I guess, what plan is best for them, actually means that they perform better at the end of the day? The fact that they're equipped with these skills, these are skills that are much needed before they enter the university. Now, knowing what is required and providing it them proactively early in school, be it robotics, be it AI, be it machine learning, more importantly, entrepreneurship skills, I think these are going to hold them in good stead when they walk out. And I feel that our students at the Global Indian International School have an array of opportunities where they can explore this, learn and move along. Okay, Dan has a question for you. Hi, Melissa. How do students respond to this increased uptake of technology in schools? Do they see it as a distraction or does it really help them to achieve learning outcomes? In fact, for us, I think we are very clear that it has to be a catalyst. So when we propose this to students in form of workshops or say leadership lecture series, students are there because they understand that this is the way forward. They do not see it as a distraction at all. However, giving them an opportunity to explore early on, you see our young kids right from grade one are with the iPad. In time, they learn that they need to use this in their own interest. So at GIS, we're very sure this is definitely not a distraction, but a catalyst for their learning. So it does seem like technology and education are intrinsically linked. What do you think the school of the future is going to look like? What's next? Data analytics is where we are going to, you know, lay great emphasis on because we believe it's an enabler. It is going to create personal plans for students is going to help them achieve far more than if we didn't have this information with us. And it's not only with their academics, it is also with their sports or any other talents. We have the Nine Gems pedagogy that emphasizes different facets of the students' uh, lives. So be it in performing arts, be it in sports, be it in music, be it in innovation, leadership, we feel technology is going to give them that edge to explore what is their field and what is their uh, path forward for them.